Hey everybody, welcome back. Little tutorial here for programming two students uh, or anybody who's interested in a little bit of robotics with the uh, Zumo 32U4 robots. We use these in our early on in our programming two class uh, for a variety of purposes and we'll kind of see those step by step as we move through these units. The Zumo 32U4 robots, for those of you in class, you remember this is what they look like. This is the webpage, palalu.com, where you can find those robots if you're ever interested in purchasing them later if you want, or even if you just want to look through the documentation. All of the resources for that is on this webpage uh, for you to check out. They also have a forum and a blog on there with good support, uh, all that which is very helpful when using these robotics. The other thing, and also from that, remember we installed the driver uh, for the robots on our computers at school. We also had to install the Arduino text editor. So if you go to arduino.cc, up at the top we go to software, then downloads. They have some stuff for online here. I haven't messed around with that too much, so I don't know a lot about that. But what I use or what we use at class that you're used to is this Windows app, which requires 8.1 or Windows 10. They also have it for Linux, and they have it for Mac. So the, whatever computer you have, you can install it on there. This Arduino will also, the text editor that is, will also work with any of those Arduino microcontrollers because all we're doing is we're writing a program that a microcontroller is going to run over and over again which is how our robots will work. Alright with all that said and done I think we are ready to look at today's activity Remember when we opened up our text editor before, the first time we did it, we had to go to File and Preferences and our additional Boards Manager URLs. We have https colon slash slash files dot palalu dot com slash arduino slash package underscore palalu underscore index dot json. So you can pause this and put that into your text editor, editor if you so choose. Then I'm clicking OK. Then we also had to go over to Tools. Uh, we had to make sure the programmer was the AVRISP Mark II. We also had to go to Board and go to Boards Manager. And we searched for Palalu A-Star Boards. I think that's all we had to search for in there. Yeah, Palalu A Starboards, or if you search Zumo, it takes you to the same one. We clicked on that and we installed it. And that is what gave us our the ability to have the library and to be able to communicate with the robot from our computer uh, to have our programs uploaded to it through the USB cable. Also, when we plug in our robot which mine is plugged in right now you go here to the port and it should say Palalu A star 32U4 available that should be an option when you select it if it's not showing up there you may have to unplug your robot plug it back into the computer and whatever the com is the com number that shows up after you plug it in that's the one you want to select but it should always show this here but sometimes you have to troubleshoot that a little bit um, and then for the board itself you want to make sure you have it selected down here Paul Louis star 32 u4 that's all the stuff to get set up all right uh, you'll remember we broke down our code into two parts last time we did this we had our void setup which is going to run one time at the beginning of our program and here we are going to define different objects that are plugged into our robotic chip that, that we want to code later. 
then we have our void loop this is what's going to be running over and over again and we use these two slashes for our comments that's just for our own documentation so we can see what's going on and I'm on these demonstrations I'm already gonna have them typed in here so I can just go through it with you you could pause it look at the information on there and type it in yours and then kinda go from there if you wanna uh, tweak that code or make any modifications or troubleshooting with any of that so we started off here this part this pin mode the, in this section we're going to be calling in our program uh, that this is uh, for the LED that's built into our ZumoBots board All right, so we, we have pin mode and notice the capitalization on there and then in parentheses we have LED built in comma and output and then we end our statements with a semicolon in these instances. That's the only thing we need to add. The purpose of this one is just to make the built-in LED light flash on and off on our robot. So we're starting off real basic. Down here we have our void loop. So this here, this turns the LED light that we mentioned above, up here at pin mode, and high means that the light is on. So the way we would do that is we would write or we would type digital right LED built in which is referring to the uh, built in LED light on our robot and what do we want to write it as high which means it's going to turn the light on and then we end it with a semicolon after that I want to delay that for three seconds so I'm going to type in delay 3000 alright so we got our parentheses and a semicolon there uh, you'll notice obviously then we're talking milliseconds for this okay the next comments in here this turns the LED light off so obviously if LED built-in high turns the light on digital right LED built-in low is going to turn the light off and I want it to be turned off for one second so if 3000 is three seconds then 1000 is going to be one second so I'm going to delay for 1000 alright I have my semicolon and we got to make sure it's easy to forget that we close up these the void setup and the void loop uh, by closing those brackets in there alright so our program will have our LED light turn on for three seconds and then it's going to turn off for one second it's going to repeat that until we unplug the robot or if it's running on batteries because they can use AA batteries uh, if it runs out of batteries or whatever but it'll run until something makes it not run anymore so to run this program I will go up here to my upload button even though it's upload it's this sideways arrow I'm gonna click on that and you'll notice this information down here compiling sketch they refer to their programs as sketches so it's just kind of its own thing so we're doing that it's done uploading alright and then I'm going to show you what this looks like by recording uh, the robot itself the Zumo bot is running the program now you can see the USB cables plugged into it there and you see that orange LED light it's on for three seconds turns off for one on for three seconds off for one and keeps doing that so that concludes our tutorial for using the basic built-in LED light that is on that chip thanks for watching this tutorial and hopefully you'll learn something from this and watch the next one have a good one.